Okay, I want to show you how to load a GPS reading that you have into Geosoft, into a database, and then take the database and plot those values on a map. So what you do is you click on Database, New Database, and check where you're saving it. Uh, make sure it's in the right uh, folder. Uh, I'm happy with this one. I, I've got an existing database with this name, so I'm just going to put number two and create a new one. And when I click OK, it opens up to an empty database, and now I can put in my coordinates. So I've got to define my headers. So I have mine are in lat long, so I'm going to call the one heading longitude, um, and click OK, and click latitude, and then click, sorry, not OK, click enter. And as soon as you click enter, this window comes up, and you can change things. You could change the decimal places that are displayed in your number. You could change the format. If you want it to be in degrees, minutes, seconds, you could change it to geographic. Um, I'm fine to do be in decimal degrees, so I'm leaving it at normal. Click OK, and then you can see these stars appear in the heading, and then it's time for you to type in your values. So I'm actually just going to copy the values from below, but you've got yours from your GPS. So 27.39, and then latitude, don't forget if it's south, you must put a minus, uh, 0.52. And um, now there's no coordinate system defined. So the GeoSoft doesn't know this is in... Um, geographic coordinates. So what I do is I go to the top here, go to coordinates, go to coordinate systems, and it's asking you which are the X and Y channels you want to define, so I'm changing it to longitude and latitude. Click on coordinate system, and I choose here geographic. Maybe it isn't geographic, maybe it's in um, UTM. You would then click on projected, scroll down and find UTM. Um, if you're in South Africa and it's in the LO coordinate system, you would look at the South African reference frame with the correct number. Um, the correct zone. But for us, thankfully, we're just using geographic. Click OK, and you can see as soon as you do that, that there's an X and a Y in the header, so you now know that this is your X and Y. So now we're going to plot that on this map over here. So I'm going to go Map Tools, Symbols, Location Plot, Mask Channel, so which channel do you want to plot? You can choose either of them, Longitude. Um, make sure you define this because it might keep the value you used on a previous map, and then it'll say that no mask channel was defined. Choose symbol size, you can change your color, I'm going to make mine black, and click OK. OK, and let's see, I can't see where it is on the map, but maybe my symbol's too small. But on this left hand side in the, under Map Manager, it is plotted over here. And you can see when you click on stuff, it highlights different things. So this FS over here is this previous database that I created and it's up here. If I click on this, um, it's just a bit, I have a feeling it's this thing up here that's plotted off of the map. And the reason this is probably the case is because I didn't actually take into account these um, second values. So let's go back up here and add in this dot 45. Okay, and let's now try replot it. Symbols, location plot. Let's see. And you can see it's moved it down here. Um, so if I want to zoom in, I'm going to zoom into this region. And you can see it's plotted the circle. So when I take it off under Map Manager, it disappears and comes back. So that's how you plot your coordinates. So obviously if you've got a lot more, it's going to plot it all over the map.